Merry Christmas everyone. I hope you're all doing well. I thought maybe you'd like to thumb through my um, Christmas journals with me. I've been wanting to look at them myself, so I decided I haven't looked at them in a while. Maybe I would just come make a video, take a chance to just wish you a happy holiday and um, show you some of the pages of some previous journals I've made in a while. I was really um, into different type of crafting this season, but um, I think I'm getting my energy back up to do my lace journals. So these are a few journals, three journals that I made. I'm really not even sure what the pages are. I do remember making this vintage one just for my own use. And of course, I've not used it yet. But let's look at it. Um, this is probably the one that's most complete, if not totally complete. But one thing I loved about this one was I used a vintage um, book and it was all, the cover was red. And then I found this really old red flannel fabric and I love how the cover turned out. I've got some um, uh, holly that I printed on some cotton fabric and then this beautiful doily that I split so that part of it could be on the back and part of it could be on the front. And here you can see some of the worn part of the spine. And then I did this Tim Holtz book plate and inside there's a image of a horse drawn sleigh and people on their way somewhere in the winter. And so if you've not seen these pages and you'd like to go through them with me again, I thought it'd just be a fun little Christmas activity. So this is a tag that I made with some vintage tea dyed paper. And it tucks under this little tuck spot that says a door. Like in the Christmas Carol where it says, Oh, come let us adore him. And I just got this image from a children's um, Christmas book. I love this page. It's made on parchment paper, and I love the way that sounds. And then it's got some burlap. I think this might be kind of getting it a little confusing. And then this flips open and I have a little belly band with another journaling tag. And then I have the next page where I made some Christmas postage stamps by just printing the images really small and then they lend themselves to a little pocket with a tag another little postcard yeah it's been a while since I've gone through this and that's why rather than tuck it back in a drawer for the next holiday I thought I would just pull it out and look through them because they really do make me happy this lace is coming off a little bit but I can I can fix that and then on this page let me move that back over I have the um, vintage music note paper and then these are just little plain spaces for me to journal a little weathered rose there in the middle just for interest this has always been one of my favorite images it's two little girls that look like they've been gathering mistletoe I just heard one of the YouTube ladies I like to watch say that they would bring a big brother or a an older adult in the woods and they would shoot the mistletoe down from the tree and then the girls would gather it up because I guess it grows in the top of big trees. This is a pretty faux envelope with uh, some tea dyed paper for journaling so you can journal but it also just looks like a decorative little spot and you could probably use it for a tuck spot as well. 
and then this I'm not sure how I imagined this to work oh yeah so oh <laughs> sometimes I surprise myself when I haven't looked at my journals in a while so you could journal on the back of here and it tucks under that little velvety holly embellishment it just says goodwill but this is also a Christmas carol I don't know if I know this one it says all glory be to God on high and on the earth be peace goodwill uh, I can't read this upside down merriment maybe I don't think so from heaven to new begin and never cease oh well absolutely did not read that right <laughs> it's upside down so oh I do remember that this book had some beautiful paper in it for journaling and then this is a tea dyed paper doily this was more of an altered book because I think I took a lot of pages out of it and then added some of my own I love this little lace embellishment down here journaling pages a pretty little envelope and it looks like I've put a tag in here let's see what it looks like oh it's a little Christmas postcard and it hides in there it would have been a good morning to write in this journal when I woke up I was starting breakfast and the power went out because we have really high winds here today um, so there's some journaling space some more tea dyed paper with journaling space I love this old vintage Christmas tree image and then an envelope that I evidently loaded with a bunch of tags so this is a fabric covered tag this is another image with children outside in a winter scene really cute and then this might be Christmas carols I like tucking Christmas carols into my um, journals because you can just stop and sing a song <laughs> so this one is have yourself a merry little christmas and some journaling space on the back and then i also decorated the envelope with um, some vintage lace i can get it back in there from a doily right here probably see that and then some more journaling space here oh I like this page because I created a little banner a little paper banner and just glued it down just to look festive and then let's see this is a Christmas tag of some sort <clears throat> another pocket it's a blue paper oh and there's some blue tatting here vintage trim and then another Christmas carol joy to the world um, and I don't remember if this is one that was this one might have been one that was gifted to me it was printed that way and then this is a beautiful tag with some vintage ladies dressed up for the holiday and some pretty vintage floral print paper on the back so I hope you are enjoying visiting with me as much as I enjoy making a video to visit with you have my cup of cocoa here it's actually mocha it's part coffee and part hot cocoa I um, um, embossed this vellum, but it kind of did something strange, like the vellum got white where it pressed. Journaling paper. 
This is an actual tag from a package I received from England during the holidays. Hopefully you're getting packages and cards and sometimes it's nostalgic to put it in there. This is a little, for no reason, just a little piece of chiffon that I stuck down because I love textures. And then there's some metallic ribbon here in the seam and some beautiful floral paper. This one might, I think this is just a couple of pages of it. Yeah. So a couple of pages of that. Some, I uh, think I used a stamp. That's a, a lacy piece of paper that I stamped with a Martha Stewart stamp. I purchased a whole bunch of stamps from Debbie Vignola a while back and I really love using them. I'm better using the punches, I shouldn't say stamps, than I am the um, die cut machine. Anyway, cute little tags. This one I layered with a little wreath and they tucked down in here and this is pretty paper. I must have only had a little of this because I don't think I've seen any more of it in my stash but I love that print and it looks like I did the same similar kind of tags on the other side. This one says Joy. has a cute little Tim Holtz paper clip and some real vintage lace here on the edge. Some more of this paper to journal on. Beautiful little winter tag. The sweet little face. Another journaling spot. I like to make a decorative frame around a little space to just write a note or put a little photo. And then this is a real popular image for vintage crafting that you've probably seen. I love this one where the little girl is just looking with amazement at the Christmas tree. And then we have this one. Oh, I guess this is a belly band. I think this is just a little advertisement for toys, but definitely could use for journaling. And there have been times when I've needed a quick tag and I've been able to just grab my journal and pull one out and stick it on a gift. Now this is a tag, but I don't know if I made it to be removed. It seems stuck, so I'm not gonna pull it. And I have a sweet little button here with a little bit of trim peeking out on the edge. Here I have a little faux tee um, bag with a, with a little envelope for the tea bag. It's kind of cute. And it tucks in here. And then I have a little glassine bag. Could probably put a tea bag in or anything you'd like. And this flips over. More journaling space. Another um, image of that Christmas tree that I really like here. And it's not really a tuck spot, but you could journal around it. And then we have the humble Christmas. I'm always fascinated by how simple. Christmas was, you know, in the rural countryside. And I've got some tags here. I need to remember I have tags in here when I'm running around trying to find a tag for somebody's gift. This image is really a comforting image to me. I hope they're not cold. <laughs> Sometimes you see these and you kind of romanticize what life is like and they could probably be in their house cold. I'm thinking that way because when the power went out today, it was only 12 degrees outside. Everybody's having high winds and really low temperatures. It wasn't off for very long. And then with this pretty lace little flip. And it's a lot of the colors I love, that ecru color with a lot of the uh, Pearly, ivory, 
This is just a tag that you can write on the back, but you could also clip it to something and use it maybe as a bookmark. Got a really pretty iridescent poinsettia. I like this image too. Looks like she's dressed to go to a little party. And on here I've got some really pretty vintage doily for a tab. Some more plain paper for journaling. This is a full piece of that holly fabric that's here on the front and I just printed that paper onto some cotton fabric and I love the way that feels. And then here is a tag with some more vintage paper. Another pretty little scene of children around a Christmas tree. And then journaling space on the back. I think I'll just leave that there. This is a bright pop of ruched green seam binding. And I don't know. I guess this was just to be a pocket for the tag. Yeah, I think so. But can you see the pine cone here and the little pine limb? I'm waiting for it to warm up outside because I want to do what they call go greening and just pick about three different types of pine to arrange a fresh arrangement for Christmas morning tomorrow. This is a piece of silk ribbon. It's really pretty. And then I think the rest of the journal is just the plain pages that came with it that I could continue to embellish a little bit each year um, or journal on. But that's this one and I really love this little journal. I think it's sweet and it looks really old which I like. So we'll tie this one back up and then we'll look at this one. This one I know I made back when my mom wasn't well and it was just a comfort to sit with a bunch of lace and images and, and just put pages together. So there's no real rhyme or reason to this one. Um, it's soft, it's got a lot of uh, cotton doily and lace trim and then the red is just to have a nice pop of color. So I have my little doily uh, here with the Merry Christmas emblem and then inside I've got an angel image and I think some of these, yes this is a pocket um, and then just a lot of the gold which kind of symbolizes it being kind of angelic. Um, this is an another pocket and really pretty velvet ribbon trim. I could not find any more of this ribbon this year. This is a sort of busy page, but it's kind of me bringing in the fairy theme with the uh, um, Christmas theme. And this is a little mushroom fairy house that's decorated Christmassy. And you can sort of see right there, there's a little elf in the window and it's snowing and so I have a little burlap deer embellishment here and some vining trim here and way in the corner I've got a little burlap holly leaf and I love the little three button embellishment there on the corner and then this is some plaids and greens and a sweet little pocket and then I just kind of stitched around some faux mittens and this is a little covered button that I made um, and it's a mounted on a little doily and this has some vintage tea dyed doily as the page and then another Merry Christmas emblem and I think this is just decorative I don't know that there are any pockets but I do know that this doily was one that my sister-in-law sent over and I just used the trim and I'm not sure which family member it belonged to but it was really old 
I'm sure it was one of my husband's grandmothers. But anyway, I used a little bit of it for there. And then this page has my favorite gingham. I love all gingham. And then there's a pocket, and inside I have a little snowflake ornament. It could go on a tree or decorate something. Um, and then some, some more of that bright green seam binding as a bow. And this is really pretty jacquard type ribbon. Um, this page got a little rumpled, but I guess that's okay considering it is a like a rag doll, <laughs> big girl's rag doll book. Some more of the beautiful uh, velvet ribbon, and I've got some studs here. And then Santa is reading to the children. Isn't that a sweet image? He must have stopped while he was delivering toys and thought he'd read them a little story. <laughs> and then there's a pocket here with some more beautiful vintage lace and a piece of green stitched ribbon, some red burlap, a little rosette with a green um, little sparkly in the middle, and another rosette at the bottom to complement the one on top. I have a feeling I had another little sparkle in the middle of this one, but it may have fallen off. But I just layered another rosette with some doilies on this page. And then this page has a tag with some of this flocked uh, paper. And I love this tag because it reminds me of a wallpaper my grandmother used to have in her dining room. And it was a deeper red, but it was flocked like this, which was very popular in that time. And then there's a sparkly little rose here. And then this is some eyelet lace trim backing this page that I think is so pretty. Some more of the jacquard lace. And then, I want that on there. I have a sparkly little center here and an embroidered flower. And tuck that back in there. Okay, and then this is a vintage uh, themed page with some music note fabric and that lovely image of the two little girls with the doll. They must be showing off their Christmas gifts. Little walking horse there. And then this is a little burlap doily some little burlap flowers and then I cut out some to look like holly leaves with three little berry um, embellishments and that rusted little um, snowflake with an embellishment in the center and then I just framed it with a bunch of vintage doily lace and the last two pages of this one, there's a lovely pocket, and I wanted to do black and white, more to kind of represent the old black and white Christmas movies. And this one says Home for the Holidays, and there's the truck and an old ice skate there. So I love that image. And the little bling there on top of some doily trim. And then there's the Christmas tree image I love again. And these are buttons that are three-dimensional, so I like that. It's like they're popping off of the image. This is a button, this is a button, and this is a button. And then I've got the little flat backs to represent the ornaments. And a little angel ornament on top. And then I've got this really wide white rickrack going all the way across. I love that. And then there's some really pretty lace trim on the edge of the page. And then we're to the back. And the back is just a nice generous pocket for putting things in. And it's white. So there's this journal and this journal. And the last one is this flat one that I built on an 
it was a, a Christmas ornament book and I altered it and I love the trim on this one it's from a really old doily and then this beautiful rose print fabric and it just says tis the season and I work I put this on a little uh, piece of wood an old cut out piece of wood and then joy to the world and then this is just a little journaling spot that image again that I love it just shows a cozy fire and then on this side we've got a little flap for or flip for journaling this you can open up and journal on and then you can open it again and journal here and I love this plaid washi tape so I didn't pull out any of this this year for creating with but it sure is making me wish I had this I love this floral print it's not Christmas but the colors kind of lend themselves to that vintage wallpaper look and then just a couple little tags that you could use or write on and then this is from this actual book in this book each page was showing different ornaments so I fussy cut this one and added some ribbon to it and then put some more of that really nice feeling flocked paper and then I have this pretty vintage page um, with some of this embossed trim that came this way it was like a sticker it's Tim Holtz um, decorative sticker and I stuck so I made a nice little corner pocket and next page is for journaling another pocket here it says joy and I stitched around this it's also a stitched belly band and then this page where you can flip this up oh they, I think they both flip up but if you wanted you could add some little journaling there and conceal it with the flap and then under here I've got several pages which could be like a little notebook for journaling or you could mount photos or both but I've got this, these pieces of really old paper and then this one is stuck down so you could just journal on it but I like that little feature some more vintage music paper and this is Jingle Bells another vintage piece with more of that I don't know if you can see it very well on this background but it's more of that textural feeling Tim Holtz decorative sticker I love this piece with the little corrugated cardboard and then I have a tag with the twill kind of or damask I should say a stocking and holly turn it that way and it's backed on some of the paper and you can journal on that this is an embossed piece on tea dyed paper you may or may not be able to see the embossing um, and then just a bunch of space for journaling this is a vintage Christmas postcard I think this was gifted to me from Olivia Hernandez hi Olivia I don't know if you're watching but I do miss seeing you and I love all the vintage things you've sent me over the years especially the postage stamps and postcards and I do use them I thought this was a pocket but maybe it's just a decorative corner no it is a pocket it goes down in there this paper I think is a digital can't remember another little vintage tuck spot more printable oh no that's not printable but it's like a news printer dictionary paper I love this page this is sort of an icy cold looking winter page and then that thick white rickrack could kind of represent a snowy hill 
There's a little sparkly snowflake there. And this is sort of a belly band. Have another sparkly snowflake embellishment. And then this is vellum. And then a little blue lined piece of paper for journaling. And then some um, little Wonderland tags that are blue. And I guess I stuck this one down so you can just journal on it. But then there's a pretty silver one. I'm trying to get the right angle so it doesn't look too tippy in the camera. Um, just some tucks in here. So it's Christmas Eve here, almost noon. So you might be well into your Christmas Eve day if you're in other parts of the world. Here's a really neat vintage sand tag. And then a little fold out bow envelope that you could journal on. And I hope you all are having a wonderful holiday. And if not, maybe just visiting with me and flipping through the pages might cheer you up some, I hope. You can tuck that in there. There's some candy canes, and then I just put a little piece of vintage trim there. I never really know what to do with stripes, except at Christmas they just seem appropriate. So I like that little striped piece of paper. This is another um, picture from the ornaments that were originally in this book. And I just have, I think that might be the last one. And then the rest are just some more of the final pages of the ornaments. So this, was, this book was just about Christmas ornaments around the world. And I just didn't alter any of the last few pages. Probably thinking like I did with the other one that that I could just gradually keep altering them as I go. But it was actually quite an interesting book. And then this is just a real modern image of some bright, colorful Christmas balls. And this is the back page. So that's the end. I don't know if it, that's just a decorative piece. It's not a pocket. Um, so I have my three Christmas journals, which I've really enjoyed looking through with you. And I'm going to probably go for now um, and spend the rest of the day, hopefully, with my family. We like to go out and look at Christmas lights, go to Christmas Eve service, and then come home and watch a fun, festive Christmas movie and have treats um, and hot chocolate and kind of wait for the big present day the next day opening gifts which is my favorite I don't even like getting gifts as much as I like watching everybody open theirs um, so it's always something I look forward to and I'm extremely thankful that we can do uh, thankful for so thank you for visiting with me Merry Christmas to all of you and I will be a, be back again hopefully in a day or two just to make another video and say hi Bye for now.